Oh man, here we go. So it looks like our enemies have their hands on that zombie tech again. For refreshers, we've called them Automated External Defibrillators, AD vests for short. Basically, if you take an enemy down, their vests turn on and try to shock them back to life. Like a sporty wearable revive hive with a little static cling. In the few times these things have made their rounds, I still don't know how they work exactly. I can only guess they're tied to the brain somehow, because a kill shot to the head cuts off the vest's functionality. So if you happen to take an enemy down besides a headshot, throw in a single tap while they're laying there before the vest turns on. As a warning, whatever chemicals is getting pushed to these guys' skull through that vest tubing comes out like a cloud of venom with some brain matter mixed in. It's fun to watch, but lousy to breathe in. Ugh. The higher-ups have challenges and rewards to incentivize us while we undertake this dirty job. So keep an eye out. Listen, agents. With all this running and gunning, I know it's hard to keep our head on. But it's important to take moments to appreciate some of our colleagues that face these challenges with us. Like the masterminds behind the scenes. But I'd like to take the time to thank one senior high-ranking data analyst in particular. May you always be able to tell your stories, my friend. In addition, some of you may know we've been running Isaac simulations for a planned OS update. We're reviewing a bit of stuff, from different scenarios as we run our rounds at Penco Power Plant, to new gear, and etc. As luck would have it, there's a spot I can think of where you can get more detailed information on this. Cheers. <laughs>